Springdale Dry Cleaners in Cincinnati, Ohio. Um, they're in hot water because of the fact that they've decided to use their coat hangers to market their anti-abortion message. So there's the coat hanger in question. It says choose life. And understandably, some people are upset about this. Uh, and so just a little quick background on the story. Uh, Jake and I were discussing it earlier today. And he had mentioned that he thought, well, maybe they're just maybe they didn't realize what they were doing. Maybe they're, a, you know, they're conservative, it's a pro-life business, and they just, you know, without thinking about it, did this. But I read into the story a little further, and I found out that they've actually been doing this since like 2010, and they've been getting criticism for it since 2010. I'm not particularly sure why this story has bubbled up again, um, but I, I think it's a little ridiculous if you've received criticism about the coat hangers and you're still doing it. Yeah. No, I definitely thought the same, or I thought that it might be photoshopped or something like that. And the thing that, there's a couple things we're going to talk about, but one of them was that, yeah, you have the coat hanger that you can advertise on, but there's also like those big bags, you could print something on that, there's the tags to go in the clothes. It seems like they worked hard to put it on the most offensive part of what they actually give to people. There's so many other options. The receipt, put pro-choice or pro-life on the receipt. They've lost business as, as a result of this, which I'm happy about, mm -hmm. um, but at the same time, I don't think that bringing up the whole coat hanger situation is going to convince people to vote in favor of anti-abortion legislation. Yeah. Let's keep it real because it brings back pretty graphic imagery from, you know, like, let's say the 1950s where women who were desperate had to resort to something as extreme as a coat hanger. Yeah. Um, so, and yeah, look, see, you're explaining the context for anybody who doesn't know it, but everybody has to know that. Right. And especially after two or three years of getting comments and I would imagine negative Yelp reviews and things like that. And they certainly have lost some business, but I bet that they've also gained some business. I bet there are some extreme conservatives in that area who are like, yeah, stick it to them. And then they go back more and more. Yeah, you know, the, the abortion issue, you guys all know what my stance is uh, on abortion. I'm very much pro-choice. Um, but it's really interesting because at the same time, if you're not this anti-abortion zealot, okay, if you're not like some, some crazy person who believes that a zygote has the same constitutional rights as a human being, mm -hmm. if you are an actual pro-life person who believes like, okay, you know what, um, it's life from the moment of conception and here's why and we can have a real ar argument about it. I can understand your argument. Um, a, a family member of mine just recently got pregnant. She's about three months at this point. Yes, she's three months. And she had a video of the ultrasound that they did. And mm -hmm. you, you can see the baby's heartbeat and all of that. Now, as you guys already know, I believe that if uh, it, the, the fetus is not viable outside the womb, then a woman should have the right to abort if, if she f makes that decision to do it, right? But at the same time, you see that video and you see that heartbeat. And, and I can totally yeah. understand why people would believe that, okay, well, this is life and, and we don't want to get rid of it. We don't want to have an abortion. Um, but look, it's your decision. Mm -hmm. You know, if that's what your belief is, you have the right to refuse an abortion and not have one and have that yeah. baby. No, I to look, I, it, put in the same situation, I'd probably have, at least temporarily, the same emotional reaction to yeah. seeing the, 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 well, I guess at that point, the fetus. But, I mean, the, those same people have no problem slaughtering animals. Mm -hmm. And I'm not even saying you shouldn't have, you should have a problem with it. But I'm saying it's just an emotional reaction and one that's been bred into us through countless generations of people who don't care about their young probably didn't produce many young or certainly didn't care for them long enough for them to reproduce and so natural selection has weeded them out. So there's no surprise that we care the way we do, but that doesn't mean that we should we should orient our policy around it. No, I, to um, I absolutely agree with you. I'm just saying that oftentimes I've been very, very harsh on people that are uh, staunchly pro-life and mm -hmm. um, there are people out there that are reasonable, people who uh, you know will still support the right to choose, but believe that it's a, it's it, yeah. it is life from the moment of conception. Yeah. But they make that decision for themselves. They don't force their religion and their decision on everyone else.